Hey, welcome to my channel Technologies in Industry 4.0. In this video I will teach you about what is nested sampling algorithm. So, let's start the video. Nested Sampling Algorithm Introduction The nested sampling algorithm is a computational methodology. It is devised to the Bayesian statistics difficulties of relating models and making samples from posterior distributions. It was introduced in 2004 by physicist John Skilling. Nested sampling is a Monte Carlo algorithm. It is very widely held in astrophysics and has some exclusive powers. Nested sampling guesses in a straight line how the likelihood function relates to prior mass. The evidence is directly attained by summation. This is the key result of the computation. The algorithm depends on sampling in a hard constraint on likelihood value. Development is determined by only the shape of the nested contours of likelihood. This invariance permits the method to compact with a class of phase change issues that successfully overthrow thermal hardening. In this post, we are going to talk about the nested sampling algorithms in deep learning in detail. Description Nested sampling was made to guess the marginal likelihood. Though, it may similarly be used to produce posterior samples. It can possibly work on tougher problems where standard MCMC methods become trapped. Marginal likelihood. The marginal likelihood is very helpful for choosing the model. Bayes' theorem may be implemented to a pair of competing models M1 and M2 for data D. They together cannot be true at the same time. The posterior probability for M1 can be calculated as nested sampling algorithm. The earlier probabilities M1 and M2 are already identified. They are selected by the researcher ahead of time. The leftover base factor is not so easy to evaluate. It needs marginalizing nuisance parameters. M1 has a set of parameters that may be collected together. It is named, and M2 has its own vector of parameters. The marginalization for M1 is. It is similar to M2. Modules of nested sampling execution. We find components of nested sampling applications. These are demonstrated in the below figure. Nested sampling algorithm. The center is a nested sampling sampler. It saves a set of live points. The likelihood constraint is well defined by the freshest dead point. The lowermost live point can be changed by an LRPS at each iteration. That uses the application specific likelihood function. Also, it uses the preceding space definition provided by the user. The dead point is delivered to the nested sampling integrator. It weighs these dead points to usage a posterior sample and calculates the marginal likelihood Z. Nested sampling algorithm. Applications. Nested sampling has been used in the field of astronomy. It is mostly used for cosmological model selection and object detection. It exclusively chains accuracy, overall applicability, and computational feasibility. A modification of the algorithm to control multimodal posteriors has been proposed as a means to identify astronomical objects in extant datasets. Nested sampling is being used in the field of finite element informing where the algorithm is used to select an optimal finite element model. That was implemented to structural dynamics. This sampling technique has also been used in the field of materials modeling. It may be used to learn the partition function from statistical mechanics and develop thermodynamic properties. Dynamic nested sampling. This is a better quality algorithm for parameter estimation and evidence calculation. It is a simplification of the nested sampling algorithm. Here, the number of samples taken in diverse areas of the parameter space is vigorously used to maximize calculation accurateness. 
This may lead to big developments in accuracy and computational proficiency when compared to the original nested sampling algorithm. Now, the distribution of samples cannot be changed. Frequently a lot of samples are taken in regions that have little consequence on calculation accuracy.